Hey guys, it's Sasa Koptus. Okay, this video is finished project for my uh, ultra wood alarm clock. This is how it's turn out. Well, not exactly that my perfect project, but it's what okay. So I did a lot of mistakes, guys. Like the color I choose, I wasn't happy with it, and I redo it. So let me tell you what I did first. So I see that. Did um, the sticker not dry yet? Still wet. Anyway, um, this actually when I paint this in white, all the border in white, and then I first I paint this with the uh, oh I did the crackle medium first, right? And then I painted this color. It's a common color, and then in the end I did not like it. After I painted, I let it dry when I give only crack night, but. I did not like the color, so I apparently I paint. Oh, I mod podge after it's the crack, the paint dry, and I mod podge it, and then I paint with this color. It's to, to make a C from Fold Art, okay. And then after it dry, I use this color. It's the antique white from Delta there, so to get. You know, like why white color is too, is the color not as I expect, guys? And then I use this color to get all the edges here to cover with the previous color, this common color that I did not like. And I just use some handbrush to, you know, wash the color pa pattern paper to get more like a choppy, chic look. So this I couple stick with all the paper. The paper I use, um, I wasn't sure what paper. It's not the same collection my friend gave me back there. The different one because this I need to use a 12 by 12 strip long guys. So that's why I use different uh, collection of the paper. It's pretty good. It's not bad. Then I cover the paper inside here. This is a little bit challenging guys, I'm telling you. It's not that easy but it took me a little while to, so that's all what it looked like in the front I did crack the same with the, on the back too yeah I don't I didn't delay the color and I painted blue and then painted this white wash color to so not get too much blue and I used that paper from Bob Pick me this one guys isn't that pretty? I love this paper. It will be very good to make mini album out of this. So I use the paper back piece there and then the strip inside here. I find that when you uh, use the curve of the paper, you want to do it like... Uh, when you have the... Uh, okay, it's a strip the paper like this and if you get like a thick, okay, here a thick, it's kind of really thick, see? If the easy for you is in this is uh, not to pop up what you, what I did was I used my scissor and do this to curve this one. So this one will be easy for you to put that one on around inside, it will follow it easily guys, I just love that the way. I, you know, figured that one will work for me anyway. So, and I use this uh, paper. I did. Cu I cut a small like a quarter inch or half because I want to make my pop up my photo in like a, a border. Let me see what paper I use. Oh, here. See, I just. You see how tiny that is. I just cut in half. And I did, you know, use around the photo, that's it. And then I used uh, Saba lace. Let me show you guys what lace that I used. I just, you guys see my uh, last haul video, guys. So this one, it's in that pretty. I have a lot of lace to play with now, with my project now, guys. I just love this lace, this guy. And I used the gray one. It's the same. But just different color, so this I used around the uh, clock here, and I use my pro trims. What else? 
Oh, I use my words alphabet here, so it's my name there, SS. I actually paint this in white and then I paint it in blue. And then I use embossing, sparkle embossing from Black Collection. I love, love this. One of my favorite guys. It's carefully shiny look. I love it. And I use this sentiment. I love the person. Uh, I love the person you are. So this I paint this in white, and then I paint this with this color rose pink here from Fort Art. And then I rough with. Uh, oh, and then I spark uh, emboss with this sparkle embossing, and then I rough with this get sharpie cheek. Same thing with this. And this one I actually painted in white and then painted in uh, light lavender and I embossed with sparkle embossing and used some did acrylic to work to get like uh, tone the color down and chubby chic and all my the flowers from I am roses I dab all the color paint on these leaves here flower and then I use the the icicle sticker here so on all my flowers you know what I gone through a lot of these I need to buy a whole bunch more I got sick of them six of these I still haven't have enough I need more of these absolutely buy like maybe 50 bottles or something so um, my photo I pop up with the chipboard like four pieces of layer link the back to pop it up so is that, uh, did, I, did I tell you guys the uh, frame, the list from uh, Zaba? Let's uh, just make it around behind the photo to make like a frame right there. And I use I am roses flowers. Really easy guys. It's take quite a bit my time to doing this. I guess I need to paint that one because this one it show up. Okay, that's it. This project for my wood alarm clock. Would love to see somebody else do this one, guys. You know, it's good to see how other people do this the same project as I do. Okay, guys, that's it. Thank you everyone for keep watching, and I will see you guys next video. Bye bye.